Anaheim, California was a wrench in the system for the All-Star Challenge Tour. Substitute Tim Jones in Tailgater earned a second show from his W Racing Championship while Blake Thompson in Hypershot grabbed freestyle win number five. Tonight, Tacoma, Washington will find out if we have a last minute main field entry and inch us closer to our tour champions. This is the Razor Rise Semi Realistic Point Series, and this is Monster Jam! Hello everybody and welcome back to the ROR SRPS channel. My name is Preston Vieira and I'll be your host as the All-Star Challenge Tour smashes its way through the Tacoma Dome in Tacoma, Washington. Tonight, round nine will be a little bit different. Due to the team aspect of this tour, we will not be announcing any World Finals 2 qualifiers because we need finalized team points from the final show of the season to lock in our single team qualifiers. One full team will come out on top for this tour, one will be locked out of the main field. Right now, Team Thunder holds a close lead, closing round eight ahead of Team Mayhem by only 35 points. Can Team Mayhem make it up tonight? With a W double down up for grabs and whole teams to back up the winning driver or drivers, the points are within reach. Let's jump into tonight's action, starting with a look at our W racing bracket. Kicking off the racing competition, it's Shane Lake in Team Thunder's Gravedigger taking on sub Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder is going to take on John Gordon in Bad Company. Then it's Devin Barber in Avenger facing off against Jackson Chalette in Piece of Scrap. Rick Steffens in Blown Money is going to take on Team Mayhem's Gravedigger. Jay Cranford behind the wheel of that one. Then we got Zach Antizana in Team Mayhem's Max D facing off against Bryce Kenny in Mohawk Warrior. The man of the hour, Blake Thompson, Hypershock, is going to face off against Cynthia Gauthier in Lucas Stabilizer. Then we got Tim Jones in Tailgater, our second sub of the night, with a rematch against Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare. Closing out round one, it's Trevor Goldberg in Team Thunder's Max D taking on Barry Musauer in Zombie. But here come our first two trucks of the night, Shane Lake in Gravedigger three-time W Racing Champion on your right. He's going to be facing off against Ryan Disharoon in Shaker, making his substitute debut, filling in for Preston Perez in Monster Mutt Rottweiler once again, the points loser in Anaheim. Shane, like I said, three-time W Racing Champion, one-time finalist. Aside from that, taking the loss to Tricky Ricky in Tampa, blown money in the racing competition. So we'll see what happens here tonight. Shane Lake looking for racing championship number four. Can he get it? Getting a good start here in round one. Anything could happen with Ryan being an unproven sub so far this season. This is his second appearance on the channel. Last season, he was a sub as well. He debuted in show two of uh, the Custom Chaos Tour last season, making an appearance in uh, Azteca. Did pretty well. I believe he got up into the semifinals, our first sub appearance. That's not bad at all. Curious to see what he's going to do tonight. This is an a different uh, setup than he had last year as well. So really unproven with Ryan, but we are green for our first race of the night and over the cars we go. I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. Very tight first turn, Ryan struggling through it, clipping the roller in the blue lane. Not a great start to this race. Shane with a nice early lead on Ryan Disharoon. Around that Chicago style turn, over we go. And this is the final one right here. Shane Lake with a nice lead on Ryan Disharoon to the cars. It is going to be Shane Lake in Gravedigger. Heading on to round two. One step closer, getting his foot in the door to the racing championship yet again. Can he make it stick tonight? He was unable to do it in Anaheim. He wants to come back tonight and get another one under his belt. Next out on the track, though, John Gordon in bad company taking on EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder. These two are identical in overall stats, I would say, for the racing competition. Bad Company, a one-time semi-finalist and a one-time runner-up in the racing competition. Same could be said for EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder. One-time runner-up and a one-time semi-finalist. This is a very even matchup here in round one. And it's our first Team Mayhem versus Team Thunder race of the night. You notice the track tonight is themed for both Thunder and Mayhem. And 
just so happens that the trucks are on their proper sides for this race as well so it's truly team thunder versus team mayhem and anyone can come out on top around our first turn looks like it's about even both of them great first turns around our first chicago turn and still very even ej hyden maybe a very slight lead over the line coming around to our next jump who's gonna take it Ooh, john gordon coming back anyone's race is extremely close but john gordon clips the containers that puts him out ej hyden in blue thunder on to round two tonight knocking out john gordon in round one what a race extremely close all the way around john gordon getting a little too wide through that final chicago style turn and down he goes here in round one we'll see him again in freestyle see what he has in that competition next out on the track jackson chalette in piece of scrap really looking to improve on his racing performance He's made it up into the semifinals twice this season. He wants to get there again. He's going to be taking on Devin Barber in Avenger, another two-time semifinalist. Again, pretty even matchup in terms of semifinal appearances. Avenger, Devin Barber, has made it up into round two nearly every show this season so far. Tonight, he wants to do it again, taking out somebody who kind of struggles to get past round one. Like I said, two semifinal appearances, but... Not very many times outside of those, outside of round one. Coming around our first super tight hairpin there, and it's about even. Through the Chicago style turn, nicely done. Both of these drivers, again, a super even race here so far. Devin Barber may have a slight lead at the moment, slides out a little bit in that Chicago turn. Who is going to take it to the finish line is the question. It's still super close. Oh, my goodness. Super close. I couldn't even tell, but our officials called it. Jackson Chalette in piece of scrap. Team Mayhem getting their first entry into round two. Beautifully done from Jackson Chalette. Just holding it together a little bit better than Devin Barber in Avenger. Bringing back that... Uh, what is that world final 16 body jake cranford in gravedigger team mayhem on your left team thunder tricky ricky blown money on your right again they're on their proper sides for this race i like it i like what <laughs> i like that these drivers are seemingly coordinated to the track uh, definitely not <laughs> intentional but that's just how it's going down here tonight jake cranford looking to get out of round one yet again he did it last show surprised a good amount of people including myself but he didn't make it past round two. We'll see what happens here tonight. Tricky Ricky, one-time W Racing champion. We're green. Who's going to take it to the line? Jay Cranford a little sloppy through that first hairpin. He's all over the place, or over the roller. On the turn. Nicely done from both of these drivers. Now, Jay Cranford looking to make up the ground. He is pretty far behind at the moment. Can he make it up through this final turn? Is Tricky Ricky going to make a mistake? No, Tricky Ricky with a beautiful turn. Jake Cranford, not bad. Making the effort to get back up in the lead, but it's not going to happen. Tricky Ricky, blown money. On to round two tonight. Solid pass from Rick Steffens. Looking to move up through the bracket. Get another racing championship under his belt. Can he do it is the question. Bryce Kenny in Mohawk Warrior Fire on your left. He's going to be taking on Zach Antizana in Max D, representing Team Mayhem. Both of these drivers, Team Mayhem drivers. Either way we go here, Team Mayhem is on to round two. They're going to get another one, but who is the question? Bryce Kenny, no racing championships under his belt this season. The farthest up the bracket he's been is the semifinals. Zach Antizana, two time W racing champion and a two-time semi-finalist after that. So we'll see what happens here tonight. Both drivers staged were green already and heading into our hairpin. Both drivers getting through it well, but it's Zach Antizana with the lead coming out of it. A little bit sloppy from Zach. Bryce Kenny making up a little bit of ground. He's creeping on Zach Antizana right now, Bryce definitely not happy with most of his racing performance this season he wants a racing championship can he knock out one a two-time champion zach antizana in max d it is not gonna happen here in tacoma 
Zach and Tizana on to round two tonight. One step closer to the W final round, but he's going to have increasingly harder competition throughout the rest of the night. So we'll see what happens uh, here in Tacoma, Washington. Next out on the track, Cynthia Gauthier and Lucas Stabilizer, one-time runner-up in the racing competition, taking on Blake Thompson in Hypershock, a one-time racing champion this season from Orlando. Definitely a track that threw a lot of drivers uh, a curveball, and Blake Thompson managed to make it work. Tonight, arguably a curveball track as well. We haven't seen too many upsets yet, but we got a long way to go tonight. This could be another one in the list here i don't know if you could call it an upset we got a champion versus a runner-up but you know what i'm saying man anything could happen out here team thunder versus mayhem we are green and they're on opposing side of the track this time the man of the hour as you guys call him a five-time w freestyle champion carrying team mayhem for the most part here the most winning points <laughs> earner uh, for team mayhem We'll see how he does here in the racing competition tonight. It's pretty even so far to the line here. Cynthia has the lead. Around that final turn, super close. It's neck and neck, another really close race there. And the call is Blake Thompson in Hypershock. He's going to be heading into round two. One step closer to another Debbie Racing Championship. Can he make it stick again tonight? Very, very solid question. <laughs> very good question out here in Tacoma, Washington. Here's a rematch for you, though. Tim Jones in Tailgater, our reigning racing champion, taking on Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare. This is the final round matchup from Anaheim, and it was Tim Jones in Tailgater who came out on top, our sub for Anaheim, and that's what earned him a second show. That's why he's back, continuing to fill that spot for Bro Camino on Team Thunder. Dave Reed, his best racing performance of the season last show. He's been stepping it up in both competitions lately. He wants to continue stepping it up tonight, defeating his uh, his enemy from last show, his rival, I guess you could say. Over the car as we go, and it is just about neck and neck so far, but we've only just begun. Around our first big sweeping Chicago style turn. Looks like Tim Jones and Tailgater is having some issues, but it's still pretty neck and neck. Dave Reed with a little, very, very slight lead over the line there. And he's going to continue to hold that as we come around to our final turn here. Tim Jones looking to step it up much faster on the exit. And it is going to be Tim Jones. Took a minute for, <laughs> for the uh, graphic to pop up, but Tim Jones got that. I could call that clear as day. The officials needed a second, I guess, but Tim Jones and Tailgater on to round two yet again, defeating Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare. Solid race from Dave Reed. He had it all the way around until that final turn. Tim Jones just managing to make it stick. Barry Musauer in Zombie coming out next on your left to close out round one against Trevor Goldberg and Team Thunder's Max D. Again, this is Thunder versus Mayhem, and they're on their proper sides closing out round one. One-time runner-up, Trevor Goldberg in Max D, representing Team Thunder. He's also been in the semifinals once after that. He wants to get back up there again. And being on opposite sides of the bracket, there is chance for a Max D face-off later on tonight. Can he get there is the question. Zombie, known in Season 1 for incredible racing performances, as well as Medusa on the throwback tour. Those two were going at it all season. He's been struggling to live up to that lore all season long. Can he do it tonight? Knocking out Trevor Goldberg. It's not looking good for him. Trevor with a nice early lead. Barry Musauer going over and into the containers there. They shut him off. That's going to be a DNF for Barry Musauer in Zombie. Wow. Once again, two shows in a row taking zeros for the racing competition. He rolled it in uh, in Anaheim, and he rolls it here in Tacoma as well. Definitely not a good way to head into this semifinal round of competition for the All-Star Challenge Tour. If you're enjoying the racing competition, though, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me, and let me know. Also, check out the ROR SRPS Instagram for all kinds of extra content, and check out the World Finals 2 hub on rorsrps.com. World Finals 
come in November 29th through December 1st. It's going to be a great three nights of competition. We are qualifying, last chance qualifier, racing, two-wheel skills, and freestyle. Do not miss it. Stick around and subscribe. Gravedigger for Team Thunder is going to take on Blue Thunder. Then it's Piece of Scrap versus Blown Money. Max D for Team Mayhem versus Hypershock. And Tailgater is going to take on Max D for Team Thunder. There's another rematch for you. Tailgater versus Max D for Team Thunder. That is a round one matchup from uh, Anaheim. So we'll see what happens there. Shane Lake in Gravedigger coming out on your right right now. Representing Team Thunder. Also representing Team Thunder. It's EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder. EJ, very consistent driver. Most of the shows this season, he's earned 12 points total for the night. All, all except for one, two of the two of the shows that we've seen so far so we'll see what happens here tonight um taking on shane lake here in round two shane lake again three-time w racing champion wants to make it four here in tacoma around our first turn shane lake looking a lot tighter and cleaner ej hyden hopping up and down through that turn trying to get the power down truck just catching a little bit of grip here and there bouncing the truck through that first hairpin Coming around this big Chicago style turn here. Shane Lake in Gravedigger still holding on to that lead. He clips the turning obstacle. This could be EJ Hyden's chance. And yes, EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder makes it stick. Clipping the turning obstacle knocks out Shane Lake in Gravedigger here in round two. Wow, what an upset! For EJ Hyden, I guess the pressure was on for Shane Lake. He missed the final round last show. Wanted desperately to get there tonight, but it doesn't happen for him. Unfortunate end to his racing competition. Jackson Chalette in piece of scrap coming out on your right. He's going to be facing off against Rick Steffens in Blown Money. This is a rematch from round one in Glendale where Rick Steffens ended up rolling the truck in the final turn right before the finish line hucked it right into the containers and that is his first dnf of the season in the racing competition both trucks ready to go we are green and let's see how they do tonight can rick steffens <laughs> recover a little bit from that loss in uh in glendale Around that Chicago style turn, piece of scrap with a nice lead on Rick Steffens right now. I think Rick is just trying not to live up to that rollover. Nicely done. Jackson Chalette, one final turn between him and round three, the semifinals. Over the cars we go, and Jackson Chalette in piece of scrap is on to the semifinals tonight. That's Team Thunder versus Team Mayhem kicking off the semifinals tonight. And I think it's going to be Team Mayhem versus Team Thunder in the second race of the semifinals as well because this race is Mayhem versus Mayhem. We got Blake Thompson in Hypershock coming out here looking to continue a little bit of racing domination from round one. Then we got Zach Antizana in Max D representing Team Mayhem. Again, this is a one-time racing champion versus a two-time racing champion, but every show is a new show. That's why Zach Antizana or Blake Thompson haven't completely dominated the racing competition all season long because anything can happen. Every show, especially on this tour, is a completely different track, a new curveball to be thrown at these drivers. Can Zach Antizana make it stick here against Blake Thompson is the question. We're green, and we're going to find out. Who's going to have a better hairpin is something I'm curious of. Looks like it's Blake Thompson. Better strategy through there, making it stick nice and tight around that turning obstacle to the line. It's going to be neck and neck here. I couldn't even call that if I wanted to. Do that Chicago-style turn. Again, it's neck and neck. This is anybody's race right now. This is insane. Completely lockstep through this entire thing. I couldn't call it. That's Zach Antizana in Max D, the official call. Max D is on to the semifinals here tonight. And now we have a shot at Max D versus Max D because this next race is Max D versus Tailgater. This is going to be interesting, guys. Here he is right here, Trevor Goldberg and Team Thunders. Max D, of course, wearing that Team Nitro body for this entire season. That was the truck that was qualified into this uh this season so he's been rocking that nitro body all season but 
We will have custom mayhem and thunder schemes for these trucks. Whoever ends up in the world finals, Tim Jones in tailgater coming out on your right. Looking to repeat history here from Anaheim. He wants to knock out Trevor Goldberg here in round two. Trevor does not want to lose twice to Tim Jones in tailgater. Definitely going to be interesting. I'm hyped whichever way we go here into the semifinals. Both trucks staged. We're green. He's going to have a better hairpin. Round it we go. Nicely done. Looks like Trevor Goldberg with the early lead on Tim Jones. And a better turn. Tim Jones really sloppy. That is going to put him way behind. He came back for Dave Reed, but I don't think he's going to be able to come back from that turn. That was really bad here in that first Chicago-style turn. And uh, to the line, it's going to be Trevor Goldberg in Team Thunder's Max D. It is Max D versus Max D in the semifinals tonight. That means we're going to have a Max D in the final round, which is great for me. I love hearing that because I am definitely sour about the uh, Max D retirement, but it is what it is, man. Blue Thunder is going to be facing off against Piece of Scrap. Then we got Max D Mayhem versus Max D Thunder in the semifinals. Either way we go, W final round will have a Max D present. Let's see what happens here, man. Jackson Chalette, Piece of Scrap coming out on your left. He'll be facing off against EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder to kick off the semifinals. This is definitely going to be an exciting race right here. Both of these drivers are pretty solid, man. Jackson Chalette, I don't know, man. He's that NTL setup, which is great for these curveball tracks. Really much better in freestyle. We haven't seen super great racing performances from him this season. EJ Hyden has been super consistent overall. Again, not excellent racing performances, but he's been solid and he's been in the finals once before. We'll see what happens here as EJ Hyden's a little sloppy over the cars there and that sets him up bad for that hairpin. But Jackson Schlett has a rough Chicago style turn. It's just about neck and neck here. Jackson Schlett, a slight lead, maybe a tire length here so far. Around the second turn. Jackson Schlett holding it on EJ Hyden right now. Through the final turn, it's anybody's race to the line. But it's gonna be Jackson Schlett in piece of scrap. Very narrowly there, I believe a half to a quarter of a tire. That was a great race from both of these drivers. Jackson Schlett though, his first W final round appearance of the season. Gotta give it up to him, man. That was a, a solid pass and He's getting a shot at his first racing title. Zach Antizana in Team Mayhem's Max D is going to be on your right in that Thunder lane. Then we got Team Thunder's Max D, Trevor Goldberg on your left in the Mayhem lane. This is going to be interesting for sure. We haven't seen a Max D versus Max D faceoff since, I believe, all the way back in show two. I may be wrong about that one, but I know for a fact they faced off in the W final round in show two, and it was Zach Antizana who came out on top. He's going to take it tonight as we're green and launching off the starting line. Through the hairpin, both drivers out wide. Looks like Trevor Goldberg was on the power first, but Zach Antizana was much cleaner. Trevor struggling to get that truck gripped up and straightened out for the roller. Through the Chicago-style turn. Nice. It is pretty even here so far, but Zach Antizana does have a pretty definitive lead. It is slight, though. Over the cars. I couldn't call that. Zach Antizana in Max D gets it here in Tacoma, Washington. Team Mayhem's Max D makes it back to the W final round once again. Here in round nine, we'll see what happens. Piece of scrap is going to be taken on Team Mayhem's Max D for the W Racing Championship tonight. Team Mayhem versus Team Mayhem. And here they come, Jackson Chalette in piece of scrap. Gonna be on your right. He's gonna be facing off against Zach Antizana in Max D. Max D on your left, looking for racing championship number three. Can he get it tonight? This is exciting, man. I am hyped. Flavor of the day for me, of course, 
is Calio Cream, Mango Orange Cream, absolutely delicious. Check out the channel partner, Dubby Energy. Dubby gives you focus and energy without the jitters or crash. Zero sugar, fillers, artificial diets, or calories. And they get you hyped and ready to go to start your day and get through your day. Check them out, guys. Get 10% off using code ROR-SRPS at checkout only at W.GG. They have over 10 flavors to choose from, including two caffeine-free hydration flavors as well that are absolutely delicious. Tastes like Gatorade, but with the signature W flavors. Check them out. W.GG. We are green for the W final round. Over the cars we go. Zach and Tizana. A little sloppy there. Neither one perfect. It is Zach who heads over the roller with a slight lead. But Jackson Chalette, a great Chicago style turn there. And it's Jackson with a very slight lead at the moment. Around the semifinal, turning over the cars is anybody's race again, man. These races have been great tonight. Over the line. Oh my goodness. Again, I could not tell you. Zach Antizana in Team Mayhem's Max D gets another racing championship here in Tacoma, Washington, and he's going freestyle. Oh, my goodness. Racing championship number three for Zach Antizana as he gets himself in a little bit of a <laughs> struggle there into a corner. But, uh, yeah, man, Zach Antizana, once again a W racing champion. Can he lock in the double down is the question. And can Team Mayhem make up those 35 points? It could be less than 35 now. We got to see We gotta see how the points shake out with this racing competition in mind. But one last look at Zach Antizana and Max D. Shane Lake still leading with 163 points. Blake Thompson, 159. Zach sneaking up the pack with 134. And Devin Barber still with 118. EJ Hyden with 108. Trevor Goldberg with 98. Then it's Bari Musawa with 90, tied with Jackson Schlett in Piece of Scrap, also with 90. Then we got Rick Steffens and Blown Money with 87. John Gordon, Bad Company right there with him still with 84. Then it's Cynthia Gauthier with 82. Bryce Kenny with 78 points. Then we got Dave Reed with 77. Jake Cranford with 74. Tim Jones with 25. And Ryan Disharoon in Shaker with two points. Not the best start for a sub, especially compared to Tim Jones in his racing championship. But let's take a look at these total points here. 862 for Team Thunder and 841 for Team Mayhem. That means Team Mayhem is only down by 21 points heading into the freestyle competition. If they can lock in a double down, they may be able to equalize those scores at the very least heading into round 10. Very exciting. If you guys enjoyed the racing competition and want to see more, subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know you liked it with a comment down below. Also, check out the ROR SRPS Instagram for extra content, including early access to the week's racing bracket, pit party pictures, and more. And check out ROWRSRPS.com for ROR SRPS merch and for the World Finals Hub. Everything you need to know about ROR SRPS World Finals 2, our qualifiers, and more. Check it out in the link in the description. Also, check out channel partner Dubby Energy, and you can get 10% off using code ROWRSRPS at checkout for some clean, jitterless energy or clean, jitterless hydration. Obviously, there's going to be no jitters, but it's clean. No artificial dyes, no sugar, no fillers. Zero calories, absolutely delicious flavors as well. Check out Calio Cream, my flavor of the day. Love it. <laughs> I love my Calio Cream days, man. Absolutely the best flavor. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Freestyle coming at you in just a second. Click the end card at the end of the video.